husband was abducted uh, in uh, 12 of March 2004. In my country, uh, we had no experience uh, to for the cases of impossible disappearance before. We have so many, many cases of before disappearance in the past, but uh, nobody can uh, submit the case to the court and impunity still remains. So this is the um, um, first time of my struggle. For example, for my husband's case, he's the human rights lawyer. And in the past this year, uh, a lot of uh, human rights defenders and women, uh, they face uh, serious threats and intimidation. So um, nowadays, most of the defenders are women. And when women uh, were uh, threatened, it is more complicated because uh, they have to face like a session harassment. So mm -hmm. I think uh, this, uh, this is uh, uh, one thing that I'm uh, seriously concerned. I experienced uh, so many kind of threats and intimidation since so many years ago when I uh, struggle uh, to stop enforcer disappearance. Um, uh, it's very, it's maybe very scary, uh, but uh, uh, anyway, um, until now, I'm under the mass protection program of the Thai government, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I still uh, 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 face the attack by the social media. Last year, for example, I complained to the uh, technology uh, crime suppression division in Thailand at least two times, mm -hmm. but they still no uh, uh, further investigation. There's so many of the human rights defenders, especially women, that press about this. And the hate speech, uh, many times that the hate speech linked to gender-based violence or sexual harassment. I am really optimist and I never lose hope. Yet. And I think that uh, if we work together, we have to network and we can improve many things in our countries. We need some, uh, uh, some mechanism to ensure our safety. And I think that uh, now all the countries, all nations, uh, have to stop any kinds of violations.